Download our automatic prank calling app and get three free calls. New update was released just in time for April Fools. A viewer sent in a request on my website to prank his local convenience store. They sold him a case of expired cat food, and his cat unfortunately got really sick soon after and passed away. But the way they react when confronted about this is amazing. Hello? Uh, yeah, hello. Uh, are you the owner for the, uh, the supermarket? Okay, what happened? How can I help you? I, uh, basically my cat died, you know. I, I got some food from there that was expired and it got her so sick and then I have to go to the vet and the cat died, unfortunately. And she told me that you can take care of me for that. Do you have the receipt and the can of food that you bought? I have the can of the food. I also have, like, the, the corpse of my cat. I can bring my dead cat too, just a proof. No, you're not gonna bring me your dead cat, but how can I prove that your dead cat died from my food? The only thing I can do is give you a refund for the food. Okay, what if I get a new cat? You guys gonna, like, uh, surprise me with the food for a while? Like, as a, I'm sorry for that. I cannot simply pay for that, you know, just like that. Okay. First thing I need to see is the, the cans of the food. And the receipt. Okay, Once I have well, that, like, then I can move on. It was a rare Siamese cat, so it cost over three thousand dollar, right? Like, like I'm, I'm very, I'm devastated. Sir, like, that, yeah, listen, no. I'm really busy right now. When can you come by? But I have, I'm busy too, right? Like, I have a funeral for my cat. You, you want to come? No, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really busy with the work. Uh, yeah, I know, but you guys are okay. so heartless, right? Like, you don't want to pay for my cat. You don't want to pay respect. Like, listen you want to, to pay nothing, to me. right? Listen to me, sir. That is nothing I can do with that. I know, but my kids are heartbroken. At least if you come to the funeral, I can tell them, like, okay, look, this guy is behind the murder of listen, my cat. Listen, I'm really sorry, sir, but I'm, <sighs> there's no way I'm going to do it. I know, but okay? you, you motherfucker, you kill my cat, man. Like, what do you want me to do about that? Okay, like, it's so very now, hard for listen, me, right? It's very listen hard. To, listen to me. me. cry, right? Are you going to listen to me? Yeah, go ahead. If you curse me again, I will simply block your number. And uh, you can do whatever whatever you uh, think. And then I call you from you the payphone, asshole guy. I call you again. Like, what do you think about this? Like, this is very frustration. My cat died, right? I'm crying all day for the past three days. And then, the, you know, hello? I, okay, I just wanted him to block me, dude. Because it's so funny. He's going to be so annoyed when I call him back, even though he blocked me. Hello? Uh, Rook, can you cater the funeral address, like, for, for, for the cat and my family coming there? Her <laughs> this guy hung up, he's so blown! Let's see. Yeah, this is Jose, how can I help you? Yeah, my name is Russell, I'm calling with Pet Cremation. Uh, I was just following regarding the uh, funeral proceeding we had last week to see how we can go ahead and collect payment. It looks like the credit card on file didn't go through. About what are you talking about? We, we had a funeral for a Siamese cat and it was uh, billed to someone in does named Dumpling Lulu. We don't own any cats, sir. We're a store, supermarket. We, we had a gold shrine and open casket viewing and that was at a discounted weekday rate of 2750 and then Listen to me. Listen to me, please. Yeah, go ahead. I am not paying for it. I don't know if the store may pay for it in the future. Because we actually cremated the cat afterwards and placed it in an antique golden Ming Dynasty urn and gave it to the individual, and that was at retail value of $3,000. Why would you do that without getting paid for it? Yeah, but, well, the credit card was authorized, and there was a <laughs> signature here for a Jose... And if he says sing if he says that it was signed by a Jose, that was fraud. And then, you know, oh, God, I have you, one more thing to do. Well, well, <laughs> did you guys uh, kill this cat, I guess, or, or what's the... Nope. How can I reach the, the ownership? I'm glad you think it's funny, sure. You have a very cute giggle. Um, who, who could I speak to in regards, you know, that might take this a little more seriously or just, you know, might actually have more? My, I'm not a liberty to give you any names of ownership. Call the store, please, because this is my personal number. And whoever called call me was extremely rude and kept calling, you know. Well, th thank you, Jose. I'm going to go ahead and talk to my boss and try to figure out how we can go ahead and resolve this, and maybe I'll be in touch soon uh, with any more updates, but uh, th thank you for your insight here. All right, no problem. I'm thinking maybe we call the big boss and say, like, hey, we reached out to Jose. He told us that you would take care of the bill here. Like, he never gave any phone number, but I think making it seem like Jose gave us your number and contact name would be kind of a funny way to get Jose a little riled up. Now I call the owner of the store, who was already filled in about the whole situation from Jose. Hello? Uh, yeah, hi there. Uh, am I speaking with Wang? Yes, I'm. Yeah, I'm, I'm calling from Pet Cremation. I was just following up regarding an outstanding bill for a uh, pet cremation and funeral that we had. <sighs> yeah, but that guy didn't show me anything. He just say, okay, his cat dead, and he eat my my store stuff. It's making his cat dead. Yeah. But he didn't show me 
anything about that, the, you know, even the doctor, uh, uh, everything or something. But uh, like a sombode, yes, yes, ma'am, absolutely. But what happened was, I did actually see the proof in the casket that there was an, indeed a, a dead cat, and, and my boss is breathing down my neck, asking me to collect the payment. Um, because that is a look like a really funny story. I understand. Would you like an autopsy report? I can go ahead and try to print that off for you just to see, because we did have a, an autopsy done to kind of determine the cause of death, and it looked like there was some some type of like expired or moldy food that you know was the catalyst behind you know the Siamese cat's demise. Uh, so uh, I'm just trying to figure out what to and do here. I even didn't know what this person. He, he said he was your cousin. I guess uh, is this person your cousin? What? Yeah, are, are you? What? He he said he was related to you. Uh, is is that not the case? I, I'm just I'm I'm always that was on the note here on the file. You guys were family. I'm in Chinese. Yes, and 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 the individual that came in was I, I believe Chinese or, or half Chinese, half Vietnamese. Are you not related to? Because he he said he said his name was Lulu Wang. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We have we have a card going around here in the office because we felt so heartbroken after the, after the individual speech. Would you like to sign the card if we can include it uh, f for your cousin Lulu? No, I don't have a cousin. I tell you, I don't have it. My mom only have a me in the China. April Fools! Now's the perfect time to prank your friends and family using my automatic prank calling app. I also just uploaded a new You Hit My Cat script featuring both Abdu and Book. So make sure you send it out or one of the 90 other pranks in the app and hear them done live. Many new countries are now supported again. Is there a chance we, we could go ahead and, you know, we, we could three-way Mr. Jose on the phone. He can talk to us all together and figure out what's going on here because I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what to do. Um... Okay, I can connect with Jose and give me one second. Okay, I I, I'm, I'm waiting on the line. Thank you. Okay. Oh, my God. Yeah, Jose is on the other line. Oh, yeah, we three in the line. Okay, who, is, who is it again? Who is it? Hey there, Jose. It's Russell Schwartz. We just spoke a moment ago. Okay, Russell. Let, let's just keep it simple. We don't own a cat. We don't, we're not responsible for anything of what you're talking about. We're not going to pay for it. This individual wanted to go to the media or make some other like bigger issue about how like he, he was taken. He, whatever. He can do whatever he wants. He can say whatever yeah. he wants. Okay, so you're, you're, you're happy to go on the record, Jose, I guess, is just not caring about this individual's cat? See, just, just, hang up, just hang up the phone, because I'm guessing they're recording, and they want to get some, some bullshit, I don't know. Let's just no, well, hang I, up I get, the phone, well, and we, have, well, we don't have Jose, anything. Just we don't have to understand. say anything. We're not going to say yeah. anything else. It's just, just hang I, up. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. It's okay. I'm noting this down as a very disgruntled, angry employee with very poor customer service. I just, I honestly, I can't believe this is the way you're, you're handling this, Jose. Oh my god, dude. She's freaking the f*** out. Like, this is so hilarious. Jose is, like, backpedaling. He's like, they're trying to record. Get off the phone. <laughs> Hello? Uh, yeah, Jose, what happened, man? I'm here in the office here. They tell me your guy don't want to pay the bill, right? For, for the funeral. No, we don't pay that bill, sir. But I, I talked to you, want anything, I, I talk to you about it last week, man. Like, I, it was so hard. It was so hard. If you want anything, send a letter to the business. Yeah, but okay. From now, on, from now on, we will not say anything over the phone. I know, but anything you want to do about why? Why are you so worried, man? Like, I just want you guys to be fair, right? Like, just be fair with me. Like, you kill my cat. Like, it's so sad. It's very sad boy, you know. Like, and I, I'm his cousin. So why won't you help me out? <laughs> okay. So now I think Jose is in this like. What if they actually like put me on like Fox News mode? Hello? Uh, yeah, hi, yeah. this is the manager for right? Mrs. Wang, right? Yeah, Mrs. Wang. Well, well, this is Richard. I'm calling with ABC News. We're actually doing a special report on the murder of a local cat named Dumbling. Uh, you know, you were the prime suspect in the case, so we just wanted to get a quick statement from you. Uh, why did you do it? What? Remember the cat, the one that you gave the old food to and the cat died? Okay, sir, I didn't know what you are talking about. Yeah, and I didn't get any that one, and I will not answer you any questions. Thank you. No, no, I, I, I'm doing a special reporting. Uh, 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 hello, <laughs> dude. Jose f terrified her and made her think that you should definitely not answer anyone's questions. And she's like, <laughs> I'm not answering anything. I can't believe they won't even take ownership or send condolences. Remember. 
April Fools is here and it's the perfect time to prank your friends and family using our app. And here the pranks done drive. Immediately. Yeah, really. This app is going to blow your mind. And the first three calls are absolutely free. So go send out some pranks right now. Subscribe down below with notifications. And we'll see you again next week.